Hello, welcome to Ham Cottage uh, Garden. And this is the woodland area. We have two blocks of woodland, one over there about a quarter of a mile down there, and this area here around the old quarry. This quarry was used in the late 1700s and early 1800s uh, for stone uh, on the estate, and the stone to build our cottage, which is over there, would have come from here. We have um, landscaped it a little bit and use it as an amphitheater. We have plays and concerts and jazz concerts and murder mysteries and all sorts of things we've had up here over the years, um, just purely for fun. And the bluebells up here are at their absolute best. The smell is beautiful and um, As you can see, these are native bluebells and all the flowers hang on one side. On a Spanish bluebell, they come out on both sides. And also, these have got the most magnificent smell, which a Spanish bluebell uh, doesn't have any fragrance. And in the old days, the, they used to dig the bulbs up and crush them, um, and they were quite a powerful adhesive, and they used them as starch. The, the Elizabethans used to starch their ruffs around their neck and their collars with um, the sap from bluebell bulbs. And in medieval times, they stuck the feathers onto the arrows uh, with the same uh, adhesive. So it must have been quite a, quite a strong adhesive. So in this weather we're having now, everything looks absolutely wonderful. This is our small bank um, of dwarf azaleas. We built this stone wall here and formed a ledge, but over the years we've played around with various things which haven't worked very well. Uh, and then we planted it out with dwarf azaleas because we've got rhododendrons above it, and they are proving to be very successful. Um, and Andrew is just starting to weed around these azaleas, and I'm just starting to form another stone wall behind this so that it goes up in, a, in a steps. And as we pan round, there's our cottage where we serve teas from for the uh, NGS and we'll eventually live in it. Around to our pond and behind this amazing bank of azaleas. Which in the sunshine they look absolutely glorious. And I think this proves that you don't have to worry about colour coordinating things in your garden and being careful to match colours and all that sort of thing. We just throw them in and hope for the best. And as you can see, they all clash and everything, but they still look fantastic. And this bank will go all the way around. You can see another one up there. And there's a lot of smaller azaleas uh, on the bank on the other side.